Alright, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is me opening up and checking out another Magic the Gathering product. Today what I have is a Magic the Gathering Gift Edition Throne of Eldraine. Really excited about this one. This one is like one of their bundles, but I think it's a special version. It's like Gift Edition. I know in the past they had kind of bigger boxes that were Gift Edition. I think they had like Theros and Kaladesh, maybe Born of the Gods. And now they have a Gift Edition for Throne of Eldraine. I haven't actually opened up any of the Throne of Eldraine stuff. I don't know a whole lot about it. So this will be the first time I open up any of their product on this channel. I really like this set. I really like the art of it. I really like the feel. It's like Brothers Grimm, some sort of like fairy tale kind of vibes. And I thought it would be a lot of fun to open this up and check it out with you all. Very interesting little bundle right here. Everything is completely foiled on here. Got the cellophane on it right here. Let's just take it off first. I did get it, and it does have a little slit on it here, so it should be easier to open up. Yeah. And we'll just read what is on the inside of it first. I really like the purple colors on it as well. So, like, even the exterior of the box is completely foiled. Let's just see what it says is in here. It says, enjoy the royal treatment. Uh, celebrate Throne of Eldraine in style with an extra special upgraded bundle, including collector's boosters filled with premium offerings. So, in here, it has uh, 10 15-card Throne of Eldraine booster packs, plus one of the Throne of Eldraine collector's boosters, which is one of those boosters with, like, a whole bunch of foils and chances for, like, borderless cards and stuff like that. Not really sure, but we'll be checking that out. It says it has a special oversized gift edition spin-down life counter. I do have a regular size one here, which we will be comparing it to just to see the size. It says special foil edition card box, so the card box itself is completely foil. Very interesting, kind of very nice premium feel. It says 20 in premium foil and 20 regular basic lands. So it'll give you 40 lands, 20 foil, 20 basic which is kind of nice and it also says an alternative art premium foil piper of the swarm card so that's all that's in here right now pretty cool 10 booster caps one of 10 booster packs one of the collector's edition booster packs the foil box and oversized dice i'm curious how big it is if it's like quite big uh some foil lands and an alternate art premium foil piper of the swarm which looks like it's kind of referencing peter piper that kind of fairy tale of the guy who can command rats with his pipe and then it looks like uh, it comes with, oh wow, very cool. It comes with like a full, like an art piece. Interesting, like a poster. I wonder if this unfolds into anything or not. Looks like it comes with an art piece. Not sure what cards these are, but I really like this art right here. Reminds me of like Hansel and Gretel or something like that. She has a bloody sword and a bear trap. Very cool. And what is this? Let's see what this opens up into. Nice. Sometimes the glue is completely rips it. This time it doesn't. And it looks like it is the same lady uh, on the front right here. I wish the inside was foiled as well. So these are pretty nice. And again, this sort of booger glue. Let's just take this off. Gone. Alrighty. Very nice. Cool. So it comes with these as well. You can open them up and set them on a wall or something like that. They do have the crease marks in them, but it's kind of cool. And uh, for whatever reason, all of these come with this like cardboard insert right here. I really don't know the point of it. It just kind of takes up space. I use mine for change, and I'm not really sure. You can't really store cards in here. It's too short this way, but you can st store them in there if they kind of lay down flat. So I'm not really sure the point of this. Maybe you can just store, like, dice and tokens and stuff like that in there. But just an interesting thing. I think maybe one day they should just phase it out for smaller packaging. Maybe they only include it in there to make it feel like a more premium product, like a bigger packaging. Maybe that's why. And this will just set in the background. Really cool little thing right here it's sort of like a cardboard card stock very cool not sure if there's multiple versions of this or this is the only one very cool let's just check out the box itself wow very nice very cool anything in the roof right here nothing in the roof okay good. very cool cool it looks like bitter blossoms some sort of like fairies you got this lady that's uh not sure who that is her big art is right there Got some crows and ravens, a bunch of fairies. Very cool. And then this is the huge dice. Wow, it is quite big. It's like twice the size of a normal spin-down dice. Does it have... Got the Throne of Eldrain logo right there. Very cool. Looks like a crest of sword and shield or something like that. Almost semi-translucent, very reflective dice. Very cool. Really like how it's a bit bigger as well. Probably won't fit in some other deck boxes as well. Maybe that would be fun to check out if it fits in like an Ultra Pro Satin Tower or something like that. Very interesting. So kind of cool that they now have an official bigger dice. Really like that. Nice. 
And then, you, of course, you got the packs themselves. And I do like how these uh, new bundles come with the sort of inside divider right here. Very cool. And, of course, the Throne of a Drain 15 card collector booster. And then 10 just regular packs. Very cool. Haven't opened up any of this product. Really excited to check it out. Looks like just an advertisement right here. Uh, Planeswalker loyalty. Looks like a loyalty dice or something like that. And just an attacking and blocking kind of card right here. Uh, popular uh, standard booster draft commander. Learn more. Nothing with Pioneer or anything like that. Very cool. So just random ads. Then did say it comes with 10 or 20 basic lands and then 20 foil basic lands. Let's just check them out. Very cool. Throwing about drain. Got some like crests, beautiful fireflies in the field. Love the sun reflecting there. Just mountains games. Wow, that's crazy art right there by Howard Lyon. Beautiful. It's like a star shooting in the sky. Beautiful. Mm, very cool. It's like a wishing well. I like it. Love the swamps. Love these swamps. They're fantastic. By Paul Scott uh, Canavan. Got like a raven or crow right there. Got a couple of them. Love the purples and pinks reflecting off the swamp. Like a banner. Whoa, almost reminds me of Stonehenge or something. Really cool. Loving the art on this set so far. I really don't know much about this set, so really excited to finally open it up. Almost makes you think of Kamigawa. Got like little shrines on the mountains. Little lights. Very cool. That's awesome. Like spores. Ooh, love the forest. Love the greens and blues. Nice. So they give you five of each. Four of each. Very cool. And then there should be some foil lands in here. And then the foil piper of the swarm. Not really sure why they chose that card. Maybe just because it has a lot of flavor. Let's see. Very cool. The folding feels way different than some of the other sets. Very smooth surface for sure. Oh wow, this is awesome for rat. This would be cool for a rat deck. Piper of the Swarm, one in a black. It's a 1-3 creature. It's a human warlock. He's evil looking, got a grin on his face, and a rat and really long nails. Pretty nasty. It has rats you control of menace. And one in a black and tap. Create a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token. So he makes rats. And he has 2-2 two two black sacrifice, 3 rats, gain control of target creature. This would be great for like a commander for like a rat deck or something like that. Wow, I definitely want to make a rat deck around this guy. Also, there's like an ogre slumlord or something like that, which would be great for this. Very cool. I didn't know this had to do with actually rat tribal. Very cool. And then again, the foil lands. Probably the same lands that we got here. Probably in the same order. And in the same order. So very interesting. You just get all of the same lands just in foil version, which has been a nice thing, especially if you want to foil out your lands. Wow, some of these are just beautiful. Uh, these foilings feel very different than a bunch of other foilers I've had. They feel very plasticky and very flat, I would say. Very cool. Different sort of cardstock, different printing press, possibly. Very cool. So you just get a, a four of each of the lands as well. Probably one of each of the art that they have in the set. So that's a nice little addition. I know I've opened up a bundle in the past of like maybe Guilds of Ravnica, and they did give you like five foil lands, one of each type. And it's pretty cool that they give you 20 in this gift edition. I'm not sure if in the regular bundles they give you foil lands. It's possible, but I'm not sure. So nice little pile of lands, and you got this Piper of the Swarm guy right here. And then let's just go ahead and open up some of the packs. Very cool. Really like the box as well. Magic the Gathering. Very cool. So let's just dive into this and open up some of the packs. I'm definitely going to save this one for last. Very cool. And there is some like alternate frames and stuff in this set. Which I think it's very interesting. Hopefully we'll get a couple as well. Not really sure of many of the cards in here either. Got Charmed Sleep. Looks like a giant dragon with rainbows on his head. One and two blue enchant creature. When it enters the battlefield, tap that creature. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during his controls, untap step. So you can kind of put a freeze on a creature. Got festive funeral. Definitely very kind of uh, fairy tale kind of vibe. They're like dancing at the funeral. Purple flames going on. Four and a black. Instant target creature gets negative X, negative X to end of turn. Where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. The more cards in your graveyard, the more it does. This is run by Zach Stella. Who drew this one? By Titless Lunther. Got Searing Barrage. Wow, look at that art. That's crazy. It's like a giant worm creature dragon. Trying to eat this poor guy right here. Four in a red. Deals five damage to the target creature. It's got amendment. Uh, if at least three red mana was spent to cast this spell, it deals three damage to that creature's controller. 
Okay, so if you put it in a mono red deck, you do 5 damage to your creature, 3 to that controller. Got weapon rack, 4 generic, enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one -one counter on it. And then you can move a 1-1 one -one counter from weapon rack to target creature. Activate the ability only one, uh, only any time you could cast a sorcery. So pretty much move some t counters from this to a creature you want. Like give him a weapon. By Joe. Uh, Slucher. Tall as a beanstalk. Definitely reference to Jack and the beanstalk. Very cool. What is this? A little like caterpillar down there. Three in a green. The giant kind of thing. Gem and aura. Enchanted creature gets plus three plus three and has reach. And is a giant in addition to its other types. Very cool. Makes him a giant. Gives him reach. He realized a bit late that he was supposed to plant the magic beans. He ate them. <laughs> Very cool. <clears throat> Got wishful mirror folk. Interesting, looks like uh, a reflection in the water. She definitely wishes that she was human. Makes me think of uh, the Little Mermaid or something. One in a blue. It's a defender, mirror folk, and you pay one in a blue. Uh, lose the defender, becomes a human until end of turn. It's a 3 2 that you can turn into a human. She yearned to walk on dry land, so she might take her vengeance there. Definitely like Little Mermaid. Got outflank. One white instant deals damage to target attacking or blocking creature equal to the number of creatures you control. If you got one creature, it deals one damage. If you got five, it deals five. Wow, they're fighting this big old demon monster. Doesn't even look like it has eyes. By Victor Edame Mingus. Very cool. Got Memory Thief. Two in a black. Target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a non land card from it. That player discards that card. You may put a card. You may put a card that and it has a venture. Uh, that player owns from Exxon to that player's graveyard. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, kind of like remove some cards from their hand. Very dark imagery. Got like crows coming out of this guy's face. Wild. Very cool. Uh, there are adventure cards in as well. I think they're kind of like split cards. Kind of an interesting thing. Hopefully we get some of those. Got Lock the Wayne Gargoyle. It's one mana for 0 3. And you pay 4. It gets plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn. And gains flying till end of turn. It can't attack, but it can gain flying. Maybe block and also uh, get rid of a creature. Very cool. Ferocity of the Wilds. Two in a red. Attacking non human creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0, and have trample. And it's an enchantment. Give your creatures trample and a little bit more power. They're fighting all of these like goblin creatures right there. All in red. Hoods kind of makes me think of Little Red Riding Hood, but a whole bunch of them. By uh, who's, uh, who's it? Josu Hernandez. Okay. He got turned into a pumpkin. <laughs> what a cool thing. It looks like this this soldier guy was just turned into a bunch of pumpkins. You can see the progression. He's here in his armor. He's starting to turn into a pumpkin head, and then he falls on the ground, and he's a bunch of pumpkins. Three in a blue. Return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. Draw a card. If at least three blue mana was spent to cast a spell, create a food token. And food is is an artifact with two tap sacrifices artifact. You gain three life. So you can also make pumpkins. Very cool. By Vincent Preuss. Really cool art. Like the flavor of it. That's an uncommon. Oh, gotta keep these piles. So I got common, uncommon. Very cool. Love the art on this set so far. Got Winter Moor Commander. These cards are super slippery. Definitely a different kind of printing, I would say. I'm not really sure. Winter Moor Commander. Black in a uh, white death touch. Its power, its toughness is equal to the number of knights you control. Uh, and attacks another target knight you control gains indestructibility until end of turn. Okay, cool. So definitely for knight tribal. And if you have a bunch of knights, if you have four knights, uh, plus himself, it becomes a, a 2-5. And... Uh, when it attacks, another knight you control gains indestructible until end of turn. So it can't be destroyed by damage. By Tyler Jacobson. Kind of a dark imagery. Very cool. It looks like, cool, I got a mythic card right here. Robber of the Rich. One in a red. Interesting card. Definitely an upside down person right there. Just hanging upside down. These cards are super reflective. Uh, definitely a different kind of printing press, I would say. I'm not sure. Uh, one in a red. Creature Human Archer Rogue. It's got Reach, Haste, it's a 2-2. Whenever Robber the Rich attacks, a defending player has more cards in hand than you. Exile the top card of uh, their library. During any turn you attacked with the Rogue, you may cast the card and you may spend mana as a word. Mana of any color to cast it. It makes me think of uh, Thief of Sanity. Except it's a red card. It doesn't have flying. And Thief of Sanity, I believe, is blue and a black card. You pretty much can use your opponent's library and like play it. Very interesting. And it has reach and haste, so right away. Huh. By Paul Scott uh, Canova.
Very interesting art. Definitely stealing from these rich folk or something. They're having a party. She's reaching in through the window, taking their goblet. And looks like I did get a foil. Very cool. And this is one of the adventure cards. And I believe these ones can have very interesting sort of special borders on this. Got Embereth Shieldbreaker, one in a red. It's got a sorcery adventure. So these ones are interesting. You can either play them as like a sorcery or a creature. And its sorcery cost is one red. Its creature cost is one in a red. And its sorcery is destroy target artifact. Then you exile this card. You may cast this uh, creature from exile, which is kind of cool. So you can play this for like a two for one or something like that. This card, you can play it for its sorcery. Then later you can play it from your exile. And you can play it from your exile as a two one creature. Courage is the only shield I need. Beautiful. Cool art. <clears throat> and then a lovely mountain. Oh wow, then a very cool on an adventure. After an adventure resolves, you may place the exile card here. You may cast a creature from the exile. Oh, that's very cool. So if you play the adventure card, you have this like a separate pile on your bed. If it place the card here knowing that you can play it from your exile. Very cool. So what a great first pack. Got myself a mythic robber of the rich and a beautiful foil. And that was just the first one. <clears throat> Lots of more to go. And they're advertising arena right here. No table required. All right. Got Crashing Drawbridge. Very cool. Defender. It's a 0-4. Creatures you control gain haste till end of turn. It's a 2-2. And it can give your creatures haste. That's pretty cool, especially for defending. <clears throat> Just a, a common artifact right here. Got Lost Legion. 1 and 2 black. It's a Spirit Knight. It's a 2-3 creature. It's a Ghostly Knight. Very cool. Just all the other ghosts in the background. By Anastasia Ovalhiknov. Uh, when the Lost Legion enters the battlefield, scry too. Cool. Got Red Cap Raiders. Looks like the goblins wearing the red caps. Make me think of uh, Robin, uh, the Red Riding Hood. Yeah, two and a uh, red. It's a goblin warrior. Whenever Red Cap Riders attacks, you may tap an untapped non human creature you control. If you do, it gets plus one, plus one, gains trample till end of turn. So three, two. And it can get more strength if you have another non-human creature. Very cool. Got Ri Reaper of Night. Cool card with adventure. So far, I haven't got any of those interesting sort of uh, different color border cards. Five and two black. It's a creature specter. I like specters. And you can play it for its sorcery cost for three and a black. Uh, target opponent discards two cards. Love that. And then you can also play it later from exile, or if you want to just play it as a creature. Whenever Reaper of Night attacks, a defending player has two or fewer cards in hand. It gains flying till end of turn. So if you want, you can play it as a sorcery, get their card hand down to less than two, then play it later. And then this guy can hit uh, for flying in the, in the sky. Very cool. It's like a Reaper. And this like specter it's flying on has a whole bunch of faces. Super creepy. Another one of these adventure cards. You got Toon Veil, Tree Folk, five and a green. You got an Oaken Boon. It's a sorcery adventure. Put two 1-1 one, one counters on target creature. Or you can play it for five and a green for a 6-5 creature by Jason A. Eagle. Beautiful art. Just a giant Tree Folk guy. Butterflies flying in the forest. <clears throat> got Mantle of Tides. One blue. Equip creature gets plus one, plus two. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, attach Mantle of Tides to target creature control. It's a one cost artifact equipment. You can equip it for three or equip it when you draw your second card. Kind of cool alternate equipped ability. Looks like a mere folk. Beautiful blue veil on her. <clears throat> Got Fairy Guide Mother. Very cool. Makes me think of uh, the movie Shrek. That, that The Guide Mother, I think, in that movie. Uh, one white to one one creature with flying, or you can play it for its sorcery. Uh, its venture, which is target creature, gets plus two plus one against flying till end of turn. So you can pump up another creature and give it flying and some strength and toughness, or just play as a one one flyer for one. Very cool, beautiful art. <clears throat> got signpost scarecrow. He's got five arms pointing in different directions. Say this is town. This is the grocery store. This is uh, Uncle Pete's. Who knows? He got two. Two crows on his shoulder right there. He looks giant as compared to the background. Four mana. It's got vigilance. And he can turn uh, two mana to a mana of any color. It's a two-four creature. Cool. By Jeng uh, Park. Jung Park. You got Henge Walker. Makes me think of Stonehenge. Three mana. Uh, if at least three mana of the same color are spent to cast it, enters the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So if you pay three mana of any color of the same color, it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. If not, it's just a 2-2 two, two artifact. Quite a lot of these adventure cards right now. I got Curious Pair. Got these two. It makes me think of Hansel and Gret over here peeking in the house. Maybe they're gonna 
get turned into stew. One in a green. So, uh, the sorcery adventure, one green, create a food token. Or you can play it for one in a green for a 1-3 creature. Uh, beautiful art, lots of flavor. Makes you think of Hansel and Gretel. You can even see the candy canes around the window right there. And the kids are eating it. Definitely from Hansel and Gretel. Got Revenge of the Ravens. Beautiful, crazy card right here. Makes me think of the movie Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. All these birds flying and they're poking out this poor guy's eyes. Brutal. Three in a black. Whenever a creature attacks, you are playing to rock your control. That creature's controller loses one life and you gain one life. Really great, especially if you're up against a whole bunch of small creatures and they attack you. They they could actually hurt themselves more than they hurt you. Very cool. By Dimitri uh, Burmark. Crate card, an uncommon. Nice, I got one with of the alternate borders. Very cool. I love these alternate borders. Fantastic. That's really cool. Really like kind of like the detailing right there. Very fair tale kind of feel. One black for Falmire Knight. Uh creature, zombie knight. Awesome. It's a zombie tribal. It's got death touch if you want to play for its creature. And its instant adventure is you draw a card and you lose one life. So you can do for card draw, or you can play it as a one one death touch for one. Very cool card. Awesome, live, love the border right there. Very cool, I'm gonna be setting that to the side. I think that deserves a second spot. Got Witch's Oven. Wow, some green glowing from the oven right there. One mana, sacrifice a creature, create a food token. If sacrifice creatures toughed as before, create, create two food tokens instead. So you pretty much turn creatures into food, which is what an oven does, it, it bakes them. By Alexander uh, uh, for Frostberg. Interesting art. What is this? A reflection of a cat or something? Witch's oven. And then this is a uh, Fae of Wishes. One in a blue. It's a fairy wizard, wizard tribal, uh, fairy and wizard tribal. It's a one four creature with flying and has one in a uh, blue. Discard two cards. Return uh, Fae of Wishes to its owner's hand. So you can bounce it back to your hand. Beautiful. Its wings are made out of like leaves. That's fantastic. And it has an adventure. You may choose a non creature card you own from outside the game. Reveal it and put it into your hand. That's pretty impressive. So you can take a card from your sideboard or something like that outside the game and put it in your hand. That's really cool. Really helping the situation. Great card, actually. Love the art on it. By uh, Magali uh, Villeneuve. Beautiful. Beautiful art. This is a rare. I'll set this in the, the rare pile, I guess. And then I got myself a swamp and then a random advertisement right here. Very cool. Really cool that I got one of these alternate sort of border right there. Absolutely fantastic. Cool art on the back. Really like the purple colors for sure. And an advertisement for the next set. Theros Beyond Death. Very interesting. It's like a death mask or something like that. Got Scorching Dragonfire. One in a red. It's an instant. This dragon is just completely burning this knight. Scorching Dragonfire deals 3 damage to target creature. Planeswalker. If that creature Planeswalker dies this turn and said exile it. I like cards that deal damage and if they kill it they exile it. Completely removes it. Ginger Brute. This is a fantastic flavor card right here. It's just like a crazy mad a ravenous gingerbread monster running through the town. Looks like he stepped in a pie or is the pie biting him? Crazy. And you can see... A horrified, kind of creepy woman in the background. One generic. It's an artifact creature, Food Golem. It's got haste. It's a 1 1 creature. It has one. Ginger Brute can't be blocked this turn except by creatures with haste. Two. Tap. Sacrifice Ginger Brute. You gain three life. So you can use him as a food token. And you can uh, make him not blockable except by creatures with haste, which is interesting. Because, uh, yeah, most of the time he'll probably be unblockable unless you're going up against another one or a creature with haste. Really cool card, really like the flavor of it. One of my favorite arts in this set, I would say. Lock, Lock the Wayne Paladin, three and a black, got Human Knight. There's a whole lot of knights in this set. I feel like that is a really great tribal. Got Menace, and then at least three black mana was spent to cast a spell. It enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 counter on it, so it becomes a 4-3 if you pay three black mana on it. Very cool. Like giant thorns in the background by Zach Stella, beautiful. This is a uh, Weaselback Red Cap. Cute little fox weasel hybrid, and there's a little goblin warrior riding it. One red, it's a 1 1 creature. You pay 1 in a red, it gets plus 2 plus 0 until end turn, so you can pump up its, its power. Very cool. Jumping over the mountains. Got so tiny, 1 blue. This little wizard fairy caught this tiny person in a little glass jar. 
flash enchant creature, enchant creature gets negative zero, negative, uh, negative two, negative zero. It gets negative six, negative zero, as long as the controller has seven or more cards in a graveyard. So if you fill up their, you make them fill up their graveyard, you mill them or something like that, you can really take all the power away from that creature. Which is what it's doing, just putting them in a little glass jar. Got shining armor, very interesting right here. Artifact equipments, but it has color, but the border is kind of uh, artifact border, very interesting. Hmm. It's a white artifact equipment. That's interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Uh, one in white's got flash when shining armor enters the battlefield. Attach it to a knight you control. So cool. Equip cost is zero if you have a knight. Equip creature gets plus zero plus two and has vigilance. That's really cool. And its regular equip cost is three. So you probably want to put this in knight tribal and just give that creature vigilance and plus zero plus two. But Eric Deschamps, the sun is glinting off the armor. Got Witch's Cottage. Now this is a beautiful art. I love this one as well. Um, very cool. A foggy night. Lovely lanterns hanging in the trees. A small little cottage in the woods. In the woods. Would you knock on that door? Maybe. It's a land swamp. It adds black to your mana pool. Witch's Cottage enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three or more other swamps. Okay, so if you have three more other swamps, it enters the battlefield untapped. When Witch's Cottage enters the battlefield, you may put target creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. Only when it enters untapped, though. But that's kind of cool. Really cool. Some multi land right there. Really like that. I'm going to set another pile for that. I think that's a beautiful card. Got Keep. Uh, Knight of the Keep. Two and a white human knight. Just a 3 2 vanilla creature. Very armored up there. Protecting the world. Got Fell the Pheasant. Looks like they caught the pheasant right there. They're going to have dinner. And he's got his hand up in the air saying, yes, we're going to eat. One in a green instant. Deals five damage to target creature with flying and create a food token. So targeted towards flyers. Got righteousness. Uh, one white for an instant. I believe this was a card in Kamigawa. Maybe it's possibly reprinted. Target blocking creature gets plus seven, plus seven until end of turn. That's really great. Um, if you're blocking something... And this will probably pump it up and make it like a removal spell. So it's almost like a removal spell for one white, which is crazy. Because plus seven plus seven for one white is impressive. Literally slaying this dragon, lightning in his chest. By Howard a Lion. Beautiful art. An uncommon. Got Shambling Suit. Three mana. It's an artifact creature construct. Its power is equal to the number of artifacts or enchantments you control. It's a star three. And if you got two artifacts, it's a two three. And so on and so forth. Looks like he's made out of rusted up stuff walking through the forest. Interesting. Uh, a multicolor card. It's any combination of four blue or four white. Beautiful sort of owl. It almost looks like a prism. The rainbow and skies going through it. It's got flying artifact creature birds. A 3-3. Three, three. When Arcanist Owl enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards in your library. You reveal an artifact or enchantment from that card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in any order. So you look at the top four. Pick an artifact or enchantment, put in your hand. Very cool. Love the art on it. Uh, Veronica Minguedad. Very cool. And then it looks like the rare I got is Return of the Wilds Speaker. Four in a green. It's an instant. It says, choose one. Draw cards equal uh, to the greatest power of non-human creatures you control. Or non-human creatures you control get plus three, plus three till end of turn. That's pretty impressive. You can make all your non-human creatures get a huge boost, maybe win the game. Or you can draw a whole bunch of cards if you have a whole bunch of tough creatures out there. If you have like a 9-9 a nine, nine on the battlefield, you draw like among all non-human creatures. Wow. So if you have like a whole bunch of creatures out there, you're going to be drawing a whole lot of cards. Very interesting card. It's a story spotlight card right there. It says that right down there. Very cool. By Chris Frellis. Oh, nice. I got myself a foil... Um. Really beautiful, one of those uh, different border cards right there. That's fantastic. Got Lonesome Unicorn, different quarter border. Looks like this unicorn with red hair is just hanging out in the forest. And this lady right there wants to check up on her and make sure she's, o she's okay. Four and a white. It's got a Rider in Need Sorcery Adventure. Two and a white. Create a 2-2 two -two white knight creature token with vigilance. So you can make a knight. And then later you can play it for a four and a white for vigilance. It's a 3-3. Three -three. Very cool. Got myself a foil uh, different border. Alternate border. Awesome. Set that in the foil pile. And the planes. And then a really cool dwarf token right here. Oh, I like these. Very simplistic design. It feels like there should be some text in this little red box right there. Very cool. Awesome. So far, really liking these packs. Really like the feel and the vibe of this set. Absolutely fantastic. 
So yeah. Got seven dwarves. That's definitely uh What is it? The seven Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, like Sleepy, Dopey, all those ones. Except they look much meaner. And it looks like they're working in a mine. One in a red. Seven dwarfs gets plus one plus one. For each card you name seven dwarfs you control. Oh, this is like ravenous rats. A deck can have up to seven cards named seven dwarfs. You can have seven of these in your deck, and if you get them all on the battlefield, they're absolutely huge. That's really cool. Different kind of card stock. Got a Garen Brig, Paladin, four and a green. It's a giant knight. And at least three mana, green mana was spent to cast it. It comes in the battlefield with a 1-1 one, one counter on it. It can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less, so it can become a 5-5 five, five if it's in a mono green deck. Very cool. It can't be blocked by creatures with power two or less. Got Lost Legion again. Starting to see a repeat. Got Merchant of the Veil. Vale. Looks like he's pulling up in his wagon. There's all sorts of interesting things are sell. Really beautiful art. Really like the art of this by David uh, Gallet. So he's got a skull, some sort of magic mirror, little box. It looks like a head inside that little jar. And he's just pointing at you. He's saying, what do you want? It's a haggle. You got a haggle with him. One red, instant adventure. You may discard a card. If you do draw cards, you get a loot with him. And uh, you can loot with him when he comes on the battlefield. He's a two and a red for a two, three. And you can also pay two and a red, discard a card, draw a card. Very cool. Loot is a cool ability for red. Definitely cool for card draw. Fun art. Got roving keep. Seven mana for a 5-7 with defender. That's a beast. It looks like a Howl's Moving Castle or something like that. Fantastic. Uh, pay seven. Gets plus two, plus zero, and, and gains trample until end of turn. It can attack the, this turn uh, as though it didn't have defender. So this thing can become a 7-7 seven, seven and attack, but uh, you have to pay seven for it, so that's crazy. Got Hengewalker again. So some good amount of artifacts in here. And interesting artifact equipments uh, with the even though they're colored, they're still artifact equipments, and the border is sort of uh, the artifact color. It's a rose thorn halberd. Looks like it's made out of rose thorns. Uh, enters the battlefield. Attach it to a non-human creature you control. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus one. That's really cool. If not, its equip cost is five. That's kind of expensive. But if you have it in a non-creature deck, um, non-human deck, this thing can just be right on there. It can give it plus two, plus one. For one green, pretty impressive. Got Wishful Mirror Folk again, uh, the Little Mermaid card right there. Beloved Princess, one white for a 1 1 with lifelink. Princess cannot be blocked by creatures of power 3 or greater. So big creatures can't block her because they. I don't know, they just can't. Looks like she's in the forest playing with fireflies, and there's big creatures that are just. She's like walking on top of a giant frog right there, and they're not even doing anything. Hmm, strange. Another Witch's Cottage, beautiful card. Got an animated, animating fairy. It looks like a Pinocchio. Two and a blue. Bring to life, definitely Pinocchio. Sorcery Adventure, target non-creature artifact you control. Becomes a 0-0 zero, zero artifact creature. Put four 1-1 one, one counters on it. That's really cool. So you can turn an artifact into a 4-4. Four, four. And it has flying. It's a 2-2. Two, two. A true puppet master has no need for strings. So it's definitely saying something about like Pinocchio. This time it's a wood it's a woman in the background instead of I think Geppetto. Very cool. Love the feel. Look, look at this. It's like a knight paladin right here. Got some interesting purple energy on his mace. Any combination of four red or four black. It's got menace. You pay any combination of three red or three black, sacrifice another creature or an artifact. Elite Headhunter deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. So sacrifice outlet and deal some damage from the sacrifices. It's a 2-3 human knight with menace. Elite headhunter. Very cool. Got keeper of fables. Looks like some sort of giant sphinx creature. Three and two green. Beautiful. He's growing into the grass itself. Creature cat. It's a 4-5. Whenever one or more non-human creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Only the lion knows more stories than I do. Beautiful. By Alex. Constant. And looks like the rare I got is uh, Oath Sworn Knight. Look at that. Looks like man of every type. You got blue, red, a little bit of purple, a little bit of red on his head. Beautiful art. Fantastic by uh, Sevlin Velenov. Uh, it's a human knight for one and two black. It's a zero, zero. Uh, enters the battlefield with four one one counters on it. So it enters the battlefield as a four four. Uh, it attacks each combat if able. So it has to attack. If damage will be dealt to it, 
uh, while it has a 1-1 one, one counter on it, prevent the damage, or remove a 1-1 one, one counter on it. So it's a 4-4 four, 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 three that has to attack constantly, and if it deals damage, it just removes a 1-1 one, one counter. If you can replenish those counters, that would be pretty cool. This guy is just like an indestructible, uh, coming at you mess. Very cool. That is the rare I got. And then I got Beautiful Forest, and then a little boar. What is this, the three little pigs? Definitely. This is making fun of three little pigs. You got stones in the, uh, bricks in the background. You got the pig in the middle, and then you got sticks in the background. And he's a food token. Oh, uh, when this creature dies, create a food token. <laughs> he makes food. This is just that. All right. Got quite a few more packs to go. Absolutely love this set. And really excited that I got a foil kind of alternate one right here. I'm actually going to set it right there. Got Charmed Sleep. Got Lock the Wind Paladin again. Got Searing Barrage. This seems like the f one of the first packs. I got Crashing Drawbridge. Beautiful card. Got Lock the Wind Gargoyle. The Gargoyles. I uh, got this one earlier. Got the Tree Folk. Yep, I'll open up this one. Got Mist, uh, Mistford River Turtle. Big old turtle with a goblin riding on his back. Three and a blue creature turtle. It's a 1-5. They always have big defense uh, toughness. Whenever a Mistfolk River Turtle attacks another target non-human creature, it can't be blocked this turn. There's a whole lot of non-human creatures. It's all about fairy tales, and I guess humans don't exist in that world. Got fortifying provisions. Two and a white. They're drinking their vials underneath the cave to hide from this big dragon because they need to be replenished. Two and a white creature to control get plus zero plus one, so just more uh, toughness. When it enters the battlefield, you create a food token. So when it comes to the battlefield, you can gain some life with it and give your creatures a little bit more uh, toughness. Really cool art. Makes you think of Monty Python and the Holy Grail a bit. Got Dwarf in mind, another one of these lands. I really like how it says adds red to your mana pool. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three or more mountains again. Whenever Dwarf in mind enters the battlefield untapped, create a 1 1 red dwarf creature token. I don't see a downside to this. As long as you have three or more mountains on the battlefield, this just makes a creature for free. Very cool. Beautiful art as well. There's just these dwarfs underground. Set this pile right here. Got Mad Ratter. Very cool card. Makes you think of Mad Hatter. Three and a red. It's a creature goblin. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create two 1-1 one, one black rat creature tokens. It's a 1-2 that makes a whole bunch of rat creature tokens. I could see that being really well with the Piper of the Swarm card right here. They're probably related. Very cool. Really cool for drawing your second card each turn. So you draw your first card for free. Obviously, uh, untap, upkeep, draw. And then maybe you play like a scry or something like that. Or like an opt, you could uh, make some tokens. Very cool. Got... Shine Chaser. Looks like a little fairy with a big old key. Makes me think of Harry Potter when they had to chase down all those keys with wings. One, a white, and a blue. Flying and Vigilance is a 1-1. One, one. Gets plus 1, plus 1 as long as you control an artifact. And it gets plus 1, plus 1 as long as you control an enchantment. So if you have an artifact and enchantment deck, this thing can become a 3-3 three, three of Flying and Vigilance. Very cool. Lovely art as well. By even a shipper. Looks like I got, uh, oh, interesting. They have uh, these cards with the, the legendary cards have that interesting border as well. Cyber Allen, the Lion's Claw. Three and two white legendary creature, Human Knight. With first strike, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, when it attacks, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one till end of turn. That's really cool. And it has first strike. First strike is hard to deal with in just combat on combat damage. Very cool. By Paul Scott uh, Canavan. Looks like the rare I got is Yoran, Lord of Garenbrig. Three green, it's a zero, zero. It must come in with something. He's got like Thor's hammer in the corner over there. He's just a giant guy right here. Legendary creature, giant noble. Uh, enters the battlefield with four 1-1 one, one counters on it. So he comes in the battlefield for a 4-4 four, four, for three. Whenever an under green creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Then if that creature's power is greater than Yoran's power, put another 1-1 one, one counter on it. So you want to put this in a deck with like a bunch of big creatures because if he's a 4-4 four, four, and then you play a creature that's like a 6-6, six, six, you put a counter on it and he's still smaller than you put another counter on it. This guy can just get huge real fast. Very cool. Oh, nice. I got myself another foil um, alternate border card right there. Got Order of Midnight. Beautiful card. She's just riding on the raven. That's fantastic. One in the black. It's Alter Fate. One in a black. Return target creature card from your grave to your hand. And has flying. Order of Midnight can't block. It's a 2-2 by Seb McKinnon. He's one of my favorite new artists. That's fantastic art right there. Love it. Love these different borders too. 
Got a mountain and then a human. All right, got the mountain and then a human. And we're just chugging along. That's really cool. Got a couple. I didn't expect to get so many full versions of those. Very cool. I think that's a beautiful card right there. Order of Midnight. So far, I've opened up just uh, four packs and I got three foils. I feel like the foil pull rate is... Maybe I'm just getting quite lucky. Squeaky packs. Welcome to the new world of competitive magic. A big check for $100,000 he won. Bake into a pie. This is fantastic art right here. Makes me think of Evil Witch baking people. Probably going to make a food token. Two and two black. You can see inside of the pie, it's like a prison along the graded part. He's sticking his fingers out, trying to get out. Instant, destroy target creature and create a food token. Instant speed for just destroy a creature for four mana. Very cool. Great card from for black deck. Got Ogre Errant. Looks like he is uh, just a short little guy like a sword or something like that three in a red it's a three four when it attacks another target attacking knight gains a menace till end of turn knight tribal in this side is super prevalent i feel got merrily for rider she's riding the fox this elf warrior is riding the fox beautiful got blue jays flying around fantastic sacrifice of food target creature blocks merrily for rider uh, this turn if able it's a three one and you can make a creature have to block it very cool got reveal soul or reeve soul one in a black, destroy target creature with power 3 or less. It's a sorcery, but uh, destroy a creature with power 3 or less. Early game, if you have this in your hand, most likely it will be a good removal spell. Creepy, it looks like this amulet is sucking out her soul or something like that. Creepy. Got Memory Thief again. Art's very similar, like a uh, black mist coming out of their haces. faces. Got Insatiable Appetite, a giant sort of creature flying down with wings. Strange, eating their pumpkins. One in a green. You may sacrifice a food. If you do, target creature gets plus five, plus five till end of turn. Otherwise, that creature gets plus three, plus three till end of turn. So if you sacrifice a food, it gives it a huge amount. He ate them out of the house, though, and then the home, and the shed, and the barn, and the flock, and the herd. He ate everything. It's just like a big, giant creature with wings, like dragon wings, eating their pumpkins. And this lady fell over in fear. The pigs are running away. Got Queen of Ice. Almost makes me think of Frozen. Two and a blue human noble wizard. It's got rage of winter for one and a blue for sorcery adventure. Tap target creature. It doesn't untap during his controller's next untap step. And when you play it for two and a blue, uh, whenever queen of ice deals combat damage to a creature, tap that creature. It doesn't untap during his controller's next untap step. It's a two, three. And you can pretty much freeze a creature for a turn for either its adventure or if it deals damage to it. Very cool. Makes me think of the movie Frozen. Got outflank again. Fighting that big guy. Got Fling. Oh, they, this is one I've seen. Again, uh, all the like, the goblins in this set all have like red riding hoods sort of cape on. One in a red. Instant and additional cost to cast a spell. Sacrifice a creature. Fling deals damage equal to that sacrifice's creature power to any target. You sacrifice a 10-10. Deals 10 damage. Great common. Got Giant Skewer. A big old rat on the skewer it looks like. Nasty. One in a black. Artifact equipment. Equip creature gets plus two plus one. Whenever equipped teacher deals combat damage to deals combat damage to a creature, create a food token. So if it deals damage to a creature, you make food tokens and you can equip it for three. Really cool. To produce food to uh, do some abilities. Very cool. Got Spectre Shriek. One black is a sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You may choose a non land card from it. If you do, that player exiles that card. If a non-black card is exiled this way, exile a card from your hand. So they have to exile a non-land card from their hand. If that card is black, you have to um, do the same. But that's pretty cool, pretty powerful right there. Wow, that's pretty powerful. Got glass casket. It's like a glass casket in the forest. Beautiful red flowers. This is beautiful art by Anastasia Ovachinov. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. And there's like a little albino fox in it. When Glass Caxit enters the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls with a converted mana cost 3 or less until Glass Caxit leaves the battlefield. That's cool. So it's like a prison for a creature. It exiles a creature with power three, with converted mana cost 3 or less until it leaves. Very cool. Got Resolute Rider. Any combination of 4 white or 4 black. It's a creature human knight. It's a 4-2. Uh, 2 of any white or black. Uh, gains a lifelink till end of turn. Three of any white or black. Resolution Rider gains indestructibility until end of turn. 
that's pretty cool right there. You can make it indestructible, and you can also make it uh, have life links. So gain some life and uh, indestructible. Respect the wild, certainly. Fear them? No. It looks like the rare I got is Folio of Fancies. It looks like a book that has wings on it, flying everywhere, some portholes in the background. One in a blue. Wow, players have no maximum hand size, so everybody. XX, each player draws X card. Wow. Uh, two in a blue. Each opponent puts a number of cards equal to the number of cards in their hand from the top of their library into their graveyard. This is for, like, milling them out almost. You can make everybody draw. If you pay five into each X, you draw five cards. You pay two in a blue. You can make them put however many cards in their hands onto um, the top of uh, cards in their hand from the top of their library into their graveyard. So if they have ten cards in their hands, they got to put ten cards from their library into their graveyard. Interesting. Crazy card. Interesting card right there. All players have no hand maximum hand size. Got the forest, and he got this human clerk with lifelink and haste. He looks like a red and white creature. He's got health in one hand. Yeah, very cool. Got four more of these packs to go. And then we have uh, Throne of the Drain 15 card collector's booster. Got Raging Red Cap. Double Strike Goblin for two and a red. It's a one two creature with double strike. Very cool. Goblin Knight Tribal. Knight is a super great tribal. He's got blood all over his hands. He's just chopping with both hands for double strike. By Dan Scott. Got Auburndale Tactician. One and two white. Tap up to two target creatures. And it also comes into the battlefield if you want for one and two white for flying. It's a 2-3. Beautiful art. By Jason Rainsville. Got Smitten Swordmaster. Looks like they slayed a dragon. And he's saying, look, I slayed the dragon. One in a black. Uh, it's a human knight. Again, knight. Got curry favor. One black. You gain X life and each opponent loses X life. For X is the number of knights you control. That's super impressive right there. Especially if you have like a bunch of knights on the battlefield. And if not, can just come into the battlefield for one and a black for a lifelink creature. My quest, why to marry Arya or, tre or die trying. Okay, so he's a knight that slays dragons. Brimstone, trebuchet, it's a giant catapult. Two and a red, it's a one three defender with reach. Tap, deals one damage to each opponent. Okay, whenever a knight enters the battlefield under control, untap it. So you can tap it, put a knight on the battlefield, and you can kind of... Keep untapping and tapping it if you put a bunch of knights on there. Very cool. Got spore cap spider. A big old spider with a bunch of spores on his back. Makes me think of a frog that has their babies on their back. Two in a green with a reach. It's a 1-5 creature spider. Like a giant spider. Got mirror folk. Secret keeper. Underwater. Uh, they pulled this person underwater and they're holding him there. Keeping their secrets. One blue. Uh, venture deeper for one blue target player puts the top four cards of the library into their graveyard so you make a mill four cards and it comes on the battlefield for a zero four just some defender right there very cool cool for a mill deck shining armor again got garen brig squire he's got a big old hammer interesting sort of green vortex in the background one in a green whenever you cast a creature spell uh, that has an adventure it gets plus one plus one till end of turn it's a two two and it'd be cool for like a deck with like cards with adventure to give him some temporary boost of power and toughness. Very cool. Got golden egg. This is definitely from that story of that goose that lays golden eggs. Two generic mana uh, artifact food. Whenever golden egg enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Very cool. Uh, you pay one and tap, sacrifice it, and one mana of any color. Pay two, tap, sacrifice it. You gain three life. Very cool. Some card draw, uh, some mana, and then some life gain. Very cool, beautiful picture of Golden Egg by Lindsay. Look, lovely little flowers. Got Return to Nature, definitely going to destroy something. It's an instant. The pumpkin, uh, I remember this is that carriage from like, uh, what is it, Cinderella or something like that. And I guess they snapped it back and the mice turned back, the horses turned back into the mice and the carriage itself turned back into a pumpkin. Choose one, destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment, or exile target card from a graveyard. Really great options for an instant. This is a great card to have in a sideboard for sure. Got Burning Yard Trainer. He's riding a horse in a flaming whip. Four in a red or some sort of mace human knight. has got Trample in Haste. It's a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, another target knight you control gets plus two, plus two, and gains Trample and Haste until end of turn. So he attacks right away, and he can make another creature attack right another knight attack right away, and give him some more uh, power and toughness. Great for knight tribal, seriously. Skyr Conard the Grim. 
creepy guy. He's got a glowing skull. Maybe it shows him the way. 3 and 2 black. Legendary creature. Human knights of 5-4. Whenever another creature dies or a creature is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield or a creature card leaves a graveyard, uh, deals 1 damage to each opponent. Okay. 1 and a black. Each player puts the top card of the library into their graveyard. Okay. So you can fill up your graveyard if you want. Cool. Human knight. So many knights. Got clockwork. Servant. Looks like he's made out of wood. He's got like a key in his nose right there. And he's got the mop in the, uh, the mop bucket in the background. Definitely makes me think of Phanastasia or something like that. The Mickey Mouse where he's dressed up as a wizard and he has to mop everything. Definitely that. Uh, three mana, it's a 2-3. If it enters the battlefield, if at least three mana of one the same color was spent on it, uh, draw a card. Very cool. And it looks like the rare I got is Happily Ever After. Very cool. Two and a white Oh wow, there's like a uh, story spotlight. has got the website down there. Enchantment. When it happily ever after enters the battle, each player gains 5 life and draws a card. So gain 5 life, draw a card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are 5 colors among permanents you control, there are 6 or more card types among permanents you control and or cards in your graveyard, and your life total is greater than or equal to your starting life total, you win the game. So you have 3 criteria to meet, and that can be an alternate win condition. you got to have 5 colors among permanents. You gotta have six or more card types among permits you control and or in your graveyard. And if your life total is greater than twenty, you win the game. Very cool. That's kinda cool. And then I got myself a mountain and then a food token. I look at that food token, it's got a face on it. Fantastic art by Steven uh Belladin. That's beautiful. I love the art in this set. Got three more of the regular packs. So much fun to open this up and check it out. It's first time opening up this set and one of my favorite ones in quite a while. I just love the flavor and feel of it. I got first card I got Fierce Witch Stalker, definitely a wolf. Two and two green. Look at his face right there. He just oh he's like the big bad wolf. It looks like he burned the house down in the background. You can see the pigs were probably in there. Trample. Fierce Witch Stalker enters the battlefield. You create a food token. It's a four four and he comes into the battlefield with a little bit of food. Got Lash of Thorns. Looks like her fingers are made of thorns. One black target creature gets plus two plus one and gains death touch on a turn. Great card, great removal spell. It's instant. If someone's attacking you, you can block with that with a creature, give it death touch, and just hopefully get rid of it. Really cool card. Really like that. Got blood haze wolverine. One in a red. Uh, it's a creature wolverine. It's got fire in his eyes. He's a two one. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, the blood haze wolverine gets plus one plus one and gains first strike until end of turn. Again, another card with uh, drawing your second card he should. Very cool. I think that's a cool ability to have a deck that can have you draw some extra cards. Very cool. Got Runaway Together. What is this, like Frankenstein or something like that? She's in love with this giant monster in rags. And she's throwing flowers and he's just kind of shambling along. One in a blue. Choose target creatures controlled by different players. Return those creatures to owner's hands. Okay. So they go back to their hands. Nice little bounce. Knight of the Keep again. Got Gingerbread Cabin. Very cool. Love the feel of it. Very similar to this one, but just a, more of a gingerbread feel. It's a land forced. Enters the battlefield tapped, unless you control three or more forest. When it enters the battlefield untapped, create a food token. So if you got three or more forest, you play this. It enters untapped, and then it makes a food token. Very cool. Lovely art as well. Got Jousting Dummy. Two uh, generic artifact creatures. Scarecrow Knight. Again, the knight tribal is super... Super prevalent. I feel like half the cards in this are like night. Uh, three jousting dummy gets plus one plus zero until end of turn, and it's a two one. Now you can give it more power. Lovely colors. He's protecting the purple tents in the background. He's got a target on his head. <laughs> got Garenbrig Carver, a human warrior. Three in the green for a three two creature, or his adventure is target creature gets plus two plus two till end of turn, and it's a one in a green, and this is an instant speed. Very cool. It looks like he's drawing out some sort of blueprint pens right there. Really cool. Got moonlit scavenger. He's got these ladies scavenging in the night. She's got some sort of net and some sort of trident or some sort of pitchfork. Beautiful sky in the background. Love the depth of the picture. It's a 4-5 creature for 5 in a blue. When it enters the battlefield, if you control an artifact or enchantment, return tiger creature and opponent controls to his owner's hand. So he can bounce back something. I thought it was going to let you control a creature or something. That would make more sense with the art. Got Fairy Vandal. 1 in a blue. It's a fairy rogue for 1-2. Really like fairy. It'd be cool to make a fairy tribal. It looks like his wings are made out of shards of glass. 
It's got flash flying. Flash, you can play at any time. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a 1-1 counter on it. So again, with your second card draw, very cool. This thing can just keep building up and building up. But I think it's it's only your second card. So if you draw three cards, it doesn't do anything. It's always your second card, but very cool. Very tiny little guy ripping up books in the background. Got Ferocity of the Wilds. We got this one before. Got Savvy Hunter. Really crazy looking art right there. She's got an elk or a deer, a bunch of squirrels, a bunch of jackrabbits, and she's just walking through the mangroves with a bunch of green stuff around there. One a black and a green by Dan Dos Santos. So 3-3. Three, three. Whenever it attacks or blocks, create a food token. Sacrifice two foods, draw a card. That's fantastic. So you just make a bunch of food tokens, and you can later sacrifice those for life or some card draw. Really cool. And it looks like the rare I got. Cool, I got myself a rare land. Fabled Passage. Beautiful art, got toadstools in the background, got some lily pads. Looks like uh, like a little gateway you want to go underneath the tree roots. It's a land, it has sacrifice, fabled passage. Search your library for a basic land card. Put that onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. If there are if you control four or more lands, untap that land. That's really cool. It can tutor up any basic land, and if you have four or more lands, uh, it can come in untapped. That's fantastic. Great card right there. That's really cool. And then I got myself another foil. Got Barge in. Uh, one red. It's an instant. Looks like this giant ogre right there just busted through the door. <laughs> and the door stuck on its head. Target attacking creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Each attacking non-human creature gains trample until end of turn. Hmm. Cool. Nice little foil. The foils are definitely very smooth. Another planes. And then a beautiful human knight with vigilance. It's a 2-2 two -two token. Lovely blue sky in the background and birds. Beautiful. Got two more regular packs, then we're going to go on to the collector's booster pack. Again, an advertisement for a tournament. We got uh, Out Muscle. Looks like this elf guy just took a bear and just smacked him into the mountain, literally cracking the mountain. Three and a green, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature control. Then it fights target creature you don't control, so you can make him fight. If at least three mana was spent on it, uh, target creature control gains indestructibility until end of turn. Very cool, great for mono green. Could be used for removal. Got Wicked Guardian, beautiful R right there. Creepy looking old lady with an interesting headdress. And she's got a little pug in her. Is that a cat or a dog? I think it's. Looks like a weird kind of cat. And a nasty look on her face. Three in a black. Human Noble. It's a 4 2. Whenever Wicked Guardian enters a battlefield, you may have it deal 2 damage to another creature you control. If you do, draw a card. So she's mean even to her own friends. Got Thrill of Possibility. Wow, I really like the art right here. By Steve Argyle. One in a red. Fantastic art right there. It looks like the Beanstalk Jack is climbing up the Beanstalk to catch this little glint. As an additional cost to cast his spell, discard a card, and then draw two cards. I really like that. I like how you discard the card first, then draw two cards. This could be really good for like a dredge deck right there. That's really cool. I like how you discard the card first. Got trapped in the tower. Definitely uh, Rapunzel. She's got a really long hair sticking over there. Beautiful sky. She's just reaching out, trying to get out. One in a white. Enchanted creature without flying. Uh, enchanted creature can't attack or block. And its activated abilities can't be activated. So, only for non-flyers. Got bartered cow. Would you look at the cow? It looks like a magic cow. Oh, it's Jack and the Beanstalk. It looks like he's trading his cow for a handful of bean seeds. And then uh, that's how this, the the beanstalk grows, I believe. Three and a white for a 3-3. Three, three. When it dies or when you discard it, create a food token. Oh, that's cool. Even when you discard it, you create a food token. Got blow your house down. Oh, this is definitely the three little pigs. You got a big old wolf in the background blowing the house down. Two and a red. Crazy looking art right there. By Jenna Revena. Up to three target creatures can't block this turn. Destroy uh, any of them that are walls that makes complete sense three little pigs three creatures can't block destroy any walls the big bad wolf destroyed their houses super flavorful for cod right there got idyllic grange beautiful we got this lady right here her beautiful little house right there a little smoke him and out it probably got some good food in there fantastic by howard lion it's uh planes enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three more planes when Idyllic Range enters the battlefield, untapped, put a 1-1 counter on target creature control. That's cool. It's a counter, not just until end of turn. Really cool. I like the lands in this set. Got a Wildwood a Tracker. 
Another elf with a big old fox friend. We saw a card similar where they were riding this sort of fox friend. One green for 1-1 one, one elf and has an ability. Very cool. Uh, whenever Wildwood Tracker attacks or blocks, if you control another non-human creature, Wildwood Tracker gets plus 1, plus 1 to end of turn. That's really great. It's a it can be a it's a one one creature that can become a two two quite easily beautiful. I just noticed the camera stopped for a second, but I think I showed this card and then this card. I got so tiny one blue flash enchant creature and it makes that creature lose most of its power. Got silver flame squire one and a white. It's a two one creature or it's an instant adventure for two and a white. Tugger creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn and untap it. So if someone's attacking you and you only have tapped creatures, play this to untap it, giving some strength and toughness. Interesting blue flames right there. I like the adventure cards a lot. Got mysterious path light path lighter. She's got candles around his head, I think. Interesting kind of wispy moth looking wings in some sort of cave. You got someone following in the background, following all the lights. Two and a white flying. It's a two two. Each creature control has an adventure. Enters the battlefield with an additional one one counter on it. That's really cool. So if you pad this on the battlefield, then you play this, it becomes a three two. That's really cool. Oh nice. Got me self uh, another Kind of interesting multi border right there. Got Beanstalk Giant, definitely from Jack and the Beanstalk. Lovely vibrant greens right there. It's a six and a green. Got Fertile Footsteps for two and a green. Search your library for a basic land card. Put down a battlefield, then shuffle your library. Great for early game and then great for long game because it enters the battle. I mean, its uh, adventure can give you a land. And then later on, it's a Star Star Giant with power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control. So it helps even build itself up. So if you play this for 7 mana, it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's impressive if you have 7 uh, lands that paid for it. Lovely green art right here by Nick uh, Southam. Put this in the pile right here. Got Cauldron Familiar. A beautiful little black cat right there. Interesting sort of talisman right there. One black. It's a 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses 1 life and you gain 1 life. Sacrifice of food. Return Cauldron Familiar from your graveyard to the battlefield. So it can recur from your graveyard if you sacrifice a food. Very cool. Yeah, and then I got myself a Irene Craig Pyromancer, two and a red. It's a human wizard. It's a zero four. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, Irene Craig Pyromancer deals three damage to any target. That's fantastic. I feel like this, uh, this drawing your second card each turn is definitely something that would be cool to make out of a deck because you could give another creature a counter. You can pretty much turn second card draws into lightning bolts, to a planeswalker, a creature, whatever you want. That's really cool. By Jason Rainsville. Beautiful. That's really cool. I like that whole second drawing, second card each turn. And then this is going to be the last pack. And then after that, we're going to be checking out the uh, Throne of Eldraine 15 card collector signature pack. Interesting to check that out. I've never opened up anything that premium before. What is this? Friday night. Makes, make friends and level up your magic skills every Friday. Very cool. Got Reaper of the Night. We've had this one. Some discard, and if they have two or less cards, it becomes a flyer. Got Embrith Paladin. He's probably a knight. Yep, human knight for three and a red. And he's riding a big old dragon with his flaming sword. He's got haste. It's a 4-1. And if he played it with at least three mana, spent two, three red mana when you cast it, it enters the battlefield with a 1-1 counter on it, making it a 5-2 for four. That's pretty cool. And it has haste. It can attack right away. Unexplained Visions. Beautiful art right there. You got a deer right in the keyhole of the door. It's like a temporal vortex or like some sort of gateway. And you got two people right there. Similar gates. It looks like wind is blowing their capes. Four and a blue. Draw three cards. If at least three blue mana was spent to cast a spell, scry three. That's cool. It's a story spotlight right there. Very cool. I kind of like that. Definitely a story spotlight. Story spotlight. Got borrowed witches. Lovely purple cauldron right there. These witches are in the forest. Makes me think of the movie kind of Hocus Pocus. Four and a black. Human warlock. It's a 3-4. They enter the battlefield. Return target knight card from engraver to your hand. Knight tribal is a super big thing here. Love the art. By Alex Brock. Prophet of the Peak. Six mana for a 5-5. Five, five. Enters the battlefield. You scry two. It's an artifact creature. That's just a beast. Really cool. Really cool art right there. Right. By Titus Lunther. That's cool. Three eyes right there. 
Got eye collector. Would you look at that? Creature fairy. He's got an eye on the end of their spike stick. Nasty. One black is a 1-1 one, one with flying. When eye collector deals combat damage to a player, each player puts the top card of uh, their library onto their graveyard. This will help you fill up your own graveyard and help you mill out your opponent and get rid of some of their cards. Creepy art. Makes you think of Morning Tide or something. Got Rothhorn Acolyte. There's quite a few cards with Adventure. I don't even think I've seen them all. Two and a uh, green. Uh, seasons Ritual. You got the Elves regrowing this broken place. Just uh, growing some beautiful flowers. One green. Add one man of any color. Okay, so you can mana fix to what you'd like. And it's a 2-3 for two and a green. Add one man of any color. Very cool. So, help you fix some mana. That's fantastic. What is this doing there? Uh, I got Tome Rider. Two and a blue. It's a 1-1 one, one flying. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Very cool. Lovely blue wings right there. You got a cat in the background, I believe. By Randy Vargas. Got Lonesome Unicorn. Is that this one right here? Oh, wow. I just realized uh, the art is completely different. Very cool. I didn't know it was that different. I thought it was just foil and a different border, but it's completely different. Fantastic. Four and a white. Rider Need. Create a Knight Token. And it's just a Vigilance Creature for 3-3 three, three for 5 mana, if you'd like. Got Mystic Sanctuary. I think I got all of the land cycle cards. Yeah, I did. Uh, not the cycle cards, but all of, like the common lands. Uh, enters the battlefield tapped unless you control three more islands. When it enters the battlefield untapped, you may put target instant or sorcery card from a graveyard on top of your library. This is probably the most powerful one out of them because you can return an instant or sorcery from your graveyard on top of your library, which is pretty powerful. Pretty cool right there. Got Overwhelmed Apprentice. They're studying all these books and they're having too much trouble. The books look like they're coming alive and actually attacking them. One blue, it's a 1-2 creature, Human Wizard. When Overwhelmed Apprentice enters the battlefield, each opponent puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Then you scry two. <laughs> so you kind of got to mill yourself a bit, but then you scry two. <laughs> got Lucky Clover. They got a four-leaf clover. In some sort of resin pendant right there. Beautiful art right there by John uh, Stank Stanko. Two mana, it's an artifact. Whenever you cast an adventure, instant or sorcery, uh, copy it. You may choose a new target for the copy. That's pretty powerful, especially with a bunch of these. So if you played like Lonesome Unicorn and you had this on the battlefield, you make two knights. That's very cool. I kind of like that. That'd be cool for an adventure heavy deck. Got myself the Witch's Oven again. And then the last rare I got is Black Lance Paragon. Human Knight, definitely Knight Tribal. Beautiful pink roses in the background. He's riding some sort of horse. He's got vines in the foreground. It's one in a black for 3 1, so that's pretty powerful. It's got Flash, so it'll be great for removal. When Black Lance Paragon enters the battlefield, target Knight gains Death Touch and Life Link till end of turn. Okay, and you can target itself on it. That's cool. So it can enter the battlefield, and you can pretty much be a removal spell if you like because it has Flash. Or if you want, you can use the Death Touch and Life Link on another Knight. Really great for Knight Tribal. That's a pretty cool card right there. That is the rare. I got myself a swamp and a cool little rat token right there. Love the art right there by Mike Bjork. All right, and now it's time to finally open up and check out this interesting sort of uh, Throne of Aldrain 15 card collector's booster pack. I think all of them are foil in here or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I'm just excited to check it out with you all. Cool. First one I got, I got like an alternate border right here, five in a green. Got Oak and Boon, it's a sorcery adventure. Beautiful creature, love the sort of uh, leaf right there. By James Arnold, it's a six five creature for five in a green, or its adventure is for three in a green. Put two one one counters on target creature. Very cool. Nice, got that. Got a gingerbread cabin. And uh, we've had that one before, just a foil version. Nice, got myself a foil opt. One blue, it's a scry, draw a card. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. He's got an eye tattooed on the back of his head. Just a common. Nice, got myself another full um, alternate border right here. Got a curious pair. Oh, this is the Hansel and Gretel card, just different art on it. It's completely different. One in a green. Uh, they got the pie right there, looking at the interesting circle window, and you got these creepy looking witch hands right there and skulls with candles on them. They're waiting for them to get to the pie, then they're gonna grab them. You got treats to share, one green, create a food token, or it can come to the battlefield as a 1-3 for one in a green. Very cool. Got Toon Vale Tree Folk. Got Flutter Fox, one in a white. It's a creature fox, it's a 2-2. Two, two. 
As long as you control an artifact or enchantment, Flutterflox has flying. Goes with the name, looks like he's like got the wings on his feet right there by Lucas Graciano. Now it looks like some uncommons. Got Deathless Knight. Any combination of four green or four black. Creature Skeleton Knight. So many knights in this deck, in this set. Got Haste. It's a 4-2. Whenever you gain life for the first time each turn, return it from a graveyard to your hand. That's pretty cool. You can recur it back. An Overwhelmed Apprentice Foil. I just got that one. Defying Silence. Creepy three faces right there. Red, or I mean white energy submitting from their mouths. One white. Enchantment, each player can't cast more than one non-creature spell each turn. That's pretty powerful. Put a hold on a bunch of non-creature spells. Then it looks like uh, some different border ones right here. Got Fairy Guide Mother. Very cool. One white to one one. Gift of Fey. Tarka creature gets plus two plus one against flying till end of turn. Or it could just be a one one flying. Got Garenbrig Carver. Three in a green. Shields Might. Tarka creature get plus two plus two until end of turn. Oh wait, I've seen these cards, it's just the art I guess is completely different for them. I really like that. I really like different art in this game. It looks like he's carving a bunch of shields or something like that. It's a 3-2 creature for 3 and a green. And then the last, uh, I think, no, there's quite a few more. Got Mirfolk, uh, Secret Keeper. These are very interesting, these packs. They're, there's just a lot going on. One in a blue. That's one blue for a 0-4. And then you kind of mill the top four cards of your library. Or target player mills the top four cards of the library. Very cool. Looks like I got some rare right here. Silver Wing Squadron. Five and a white. Creature Human Knight. Flying and Vigilance. Uh, its power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. Um, when it attacks, create a number of 2-2 two -two white knight creature tokens with vigilance equal to the number of opponents you have. So if you're playing a multi-opponent opponent format, it would just make a whole bunch of them. Very cool. So I got a rare. Got myself a interesting borderless cards right here strange um castle lockthwain it's a land enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a swamp adds black to your mana pool draw a card then lose life equal to the number of cards in your hand so it's just draw card draw looks like a giant flying ship this is strange and then it looks like i got um wish claw talisman one and a black it's an artifact it's a it's a foil rare card. Very cool. Wish Call Talisman enters the battlefield with three Wish Counters on it. Uh, one tap. Remove a Wish Counter from Wish Call Talisman. Search your library for a card. Put it in your hand. Then shuffle your library. An opponent gains control of Wish Call Talisman. Activate this ability only during your turn. So you can each kind of tutor up cards with it. But then your opponent gains control of it. Then you would gain control of it. Very bizarre. And then it uh, looks like I got myself a foil knight token. Oh, on the back of it is a uh, foil food. Very cool. Awesome. So very interesting pack right there. Looks like uh, you got like a, a random full art card right here. You got like a foil rare, a foil token right there. Very interesting. So this set has like a whole bunch of different sort of border cards right there. Totally cool. Totally awesome. I did get one mythic, uh, Robber of the Rich. And let's just go through the rares. You got Silver Wing Squadron, Backlash Paragon. Got a Pyromancer, Fagel Passage, Happily Ever After. Got the Fancies, yeah, the Lord of Garenbrig, Ulf Sworn Knight, Return of the Wild Speaker, and Fay of Wishes. Very cool. A whole bunch of uncommons, a whole bunch of commons. Very cool cards. I love the feel and vibe of this set. Love the art of it. So cool. Really excited um, about whoop, the giant dice that it came with. So much bigger than a regular 20 sided dice. Really cool. And like the translucent purple part. And it's really cool that it came with. A nice little stack of foil lands, 20 of them, and a cool sort of Piper of the Swarm. I like Rat Tribal deck, so this will be really cool, and I'll definitely find a place for it. And it also came with an interesting sort of print. Not sure what cards these are, but very cool. Anyways, a lot of fun to open this up and check it out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I, I love I love this game and love checking out products with you all. Let me know what you think, and I just want to say thanks for stopping by, and have a beautiful, wonderful day, and keep on keeping on.